Hey guys, I'm Trent. I'm Michael. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install a custom resource pack on your Minehunt server. Okay, we made our account, we activated our server, and now we are on our panel. Yep, if you don't know how to do any of those, we've got videos for all of them. In fact, there's even a new playlist called The Basics, where you can get caught up nice. on all of the starter stuff. Awesome. Okay, so we're on our panel. We're gonna go over to the server properties page. So that's on the left side here, halfway down. We're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom here until we see the resource pack setting. So we're gonna go here. We see that there is currently no resource pack set and it takes a URL. A URL? A URL. So what we need to do is earlier, I found a resource pack on the interwebs. Okay. So I Googled for cool resource packs. I found one and I downloaded it. Oh. Now, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do after you find whatever resource pack you want is you're gonna wanna create an account on like Dropbox or some similar file sharing service. Basically any place that you can upload your resource pack that'll give you a URL. Exactly, anywhere that's like on the internet that gives you a download link that doesn't expire. So Google Drive would work. Yes, Great. Google Drive will work. So we're gonna use Dropbox for this because that's what I'm used to using. So we're gonna go upload the file and then we actually downloaded it earlier. It's called SoftBits. It's really cool, I'm excited to show you. SoftBits? Yes, so we're gonna open and then we're just gonna upload it to Dropbox. So I upload just the zip of the resource pack, yeah, right? Just the entire I don't have zip. to unzip it, I don't have to touch it, it's just the resource pack comes as a zip, and that's how Minecraft works. Correct. Doesn't matter what the name is, it can be whatever you want, as long as you can get a URL. So after we've uploaded it to our Dropbox account, we want to click share, and then we want to create a link. And this is a shareable link, and then we're just going to click copy. Ooh. And then that's all we have to do in the Dropbox end. We're going to go back to our panel, we're going to... And remember, where, where in the panel are we? Uh, we are on the server properties page back where it says resource pack at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. We're gonna paste that link. And then the only thing we're gonna do, that's a really long link, we don't need to touch it, except the DL equals zero. We wanna change to DL equals one. And that just makes it so the Minecraft client knows how to install it once it gets it. Got it. That's binary, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so we pasted it in there. We changed DL equal zero to DL equal one. And now we're gonna click save. All right, sweet. And then it says a restart is required. So now I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna go to the home page of the panel. That's at the top left of your panel. Right there. And then I am gonna click the big red stop button. We're gonna stop our server. And this is pretty common. Anytime you're making any change to your Minehut server, big or small, usually you need to stop and start it again. Yep. Yeah, yeah, restarting is always a good idea. And then we're just gonna start now that it says that it's offline over here. We're gonna click the blue start button. And we'll just wait for it to start up. And then what should happen is when I go and join the server, it should ask me that, uh, tell me that the server has a resource pack, ask me if I want to install it, and then I should have it automatically. Cool, cool. Right. And remember, starting your server could take anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on how many people are on Minehut. Our server is on. Server is up. Okay, we're gonna go, we got kicked back to the lobby. Now all we're gonna do is slash join our server and it should give us the resource pack and it should do that for any player that joins the server now. Great. So we're gonna give it a shot. MH Tut, that's our server, but of course you're gonna wanna put your server name in there. Yep, loading terrain. It should ask me, do you wanna install a resource pack? Yep. Yay. There it is. This is good. Would you like to download? Yes, yes. I would. Okay. There it is. Whoa. Loading. <gasps> did you see that? I did. Oh my gosh. Okay, there it is. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Hello, Turtle. Everything is so like soft. Yeah, this is this is a simple bits resource pack. I don't know, like it's really, really cool. Oh, somebody joined your server. Hello, hello friend. He would and have gotten the resource pack too. Would have. And if you don't want random people to join your servers, we have another video on how to add a whitelist. Yes, and I haven't watched that one yet, so I don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah, so now this resource pack is on here for me. It's on here for anybody that joins the server, and that is how you set up a resource pack on your Minehut server.